Uh, our subject tonight is principles of decreasing. Principles of decreasing. We're on 40 days of decrease. 40 days of decrease. Excuse me. And that comes from John the Baptist said, I must decrease. Excuse me, but he must what? He must increase. I must decrease. And he must increase. And may God grace us to experience it. I'm going to be sharing when you get a chance, because I know I'm not going to cover all of this tonight. Uh, Philippians 3, 7 through 11. When I was meditating uh, and the Lord began to deal with me about decreasing, this is the first scripture he brought to my spirit. Paul is going to show you and I how he began to experience decreasing for the Lord to begin to increase. But when you get a chance, uh, read it in the, ma uh, the majority of your favorite version so you can kind of get, let, let the Holy Spirit kind of mince your spirit. Uh, not what Paul did, but what he's challenging you and I to do. He starts here in Philippians chapter, I'm reading from the AMPC uh, version, the AMPC version, Philippians 3 verse 7 through 11. This is vital for every, oh, every last one of us. This is, this, is, this is very important. But whatever formal things I had that might have been gains to me. Whatever form of things that may have been gains to me. Whatever form of things that might have been gains to me. Y'all hear me talk about what I'm teaching from time to time uh, about my life, where I come from. Uh, uh, when I do that, it's not really point towards me. It's pointing towards something that he's done for me in the process. Or how I was raised, um, uh, what I experienced as a child, um, based on my mother. So when I'm talking about things, I'm always relating everything back to the scripture. Many of you know I played seven different sports. And I won trophies and medals and rivers in every sport that I ever participated in. I was always one of the best, if not the best, in all of the sports that I ever participated in. So, those are formal things. I have a doctor degree in theology. Former things. Now God is going somewhere tonight with this. He's going somewhere tonight. This. Everything that was important to me that I went after after I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, he considered those things former things. I got a prophetic word that I will be a millionaire. I became a millionaire. Former things. He's trying to show us something. If I ask everybody in here tonight, do you really want to experience the increase of the Lord Jesus? All of us are going to say yes. But how do I do it? How many would love to experience decrease? Everybody going to say, how do I decrease? Paul shows us. This is how Jesus became so real to this man. Because after he met Jesus... He saw every single thing he ever strived for was vanity. Everything was vanity. He based his statement, but whatever former things I had that might have been gains to me, I come, excuse me, I have come to consider as one combined loss for Christ's sake.
let us be real before him. Let us pay no attention to no human being tonight. No man, no woman, no boy, no girl. Let me focus on him. Let me see myself in the light of the scripture that have I come to the place every single thing they have a game all the properties I have ever own all the investments all the stuff I have ever have I really combined them as one big loss for Christ's sake to watch the rest of this powerful message Download Panorama's app, which is available in all app stores by searching Panorama Christian Center. Create an account to stay connected with Panorama Christian Center. One word from God will change your life. Blessings.